Definitely when, when Benj, Justin, and I started to talk about this idea, we, we did have these sort of competing visions in our heads. Um, we knew that one version of this story would be, a, like you said, a toothy satire on social media and narcissism and sort of our generation's um, you know, incapacity to feel things, so we feel through other people's pain. Um, and then we knew that there was another version of the story that would somehow dig beneath that, and we weren't quite sure what that was. But we knew pretty early on that that was what we wanted to do um, because we felt like the satire sort of wrote itself, you know, and, and we weren't that interested in it. Because social media satire is it's constantly so rewriting easy. itself every yes. other yeah, month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like. And it's so, like, it, it, that's the surface story. We all get that people are using social media to, you know, to prop up their own sense of self and uh, putting themselves into tragedies to fulfill some kind of personal wish. But what was interesting to us was, like, well, what's the human thing that, that actually is deep and profound and universal beneath that impulse to you know, go online when a celebrity has died or a, tra a disaster has happened and kind of put your own words on it and, and insert yourself into the story in some way? Um, and then, but, but r sort of residues of that other version stayed with it for a long time, the satire version. Um, and I think just, we just kind of kept chipping away at that and especially when Michael Greif got involved, which was, I think, a year or two years into writing it, Michael read a, a, an early draft of the show and, and heard some early songs, and um, he immediately said, this is a show about two families. Um, it's about the Murphys and Evan and his mother, and these two families and, and this boy who's caught in between. And he really gave us permission, I think, to dig into that emotional story and that personal story um, and we sort of relentlessly chased that since then, you know, trying to figure out how to make this story, you know, something we were really sensitive to is the fact that the catalyst of the story is the death of this boy that we don't really get to spend that much time with and we don't really get to know as well as we want to. And so some of the burden of Evan's story, I think, is to when you come to the end of the, the show, in some ways you realize that Evan's story is Connor's story. Um, that this, that Connor went one direction and Evan went another, but he could have very easily gone that same way. Right. Um, and so that was another way that we kind of figured out how to make it more emotional and more about this universal feeling of aloneness and, and this desperation for connection, really. Yeah. Uh